Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Mike Toledo. Man, I really messed this dent up here. I was trying to get this last dent. This is a hail uh, repair I was doing last year. Really, last big shot that was on the um, the rail, and it happened to be in San Diego. And um, last dent, seriously, last dent. And uh, I was doing a tutorial with one of my students, and I was like, "Well, let's let me show you what I was going to use, and and um, and so on and so forth." And um, you can see how big that that dent is. I mean, you really can't get a dimension until you put something on. But these tabs are pretty big. They're like uh, a little bigger than a quarter tabs. Okay, and pretty pretty beefy too. And so you can see how deep that dent is, and how many owl's eyes. And obviously, the more owl's eyes, the deeper the dent is. So what I ended up doing is putting uh, some some glue on there, and I wanted to put some really good glue on there, in which I put the pink stuff on there. And I'm using these German tabs here, so on and so forth. And uh, I actually basically put um, put a mini lifter on there when I should have used a slide hammer. Now, the slide hammer, um, you know, I thought, well, I'm not going to get a good lift out of it as, well, as much as a mini lifter. And that's, for the most part, is true. But I shouldn't have done this. See how the... See how that the feet are across that panel, across the curve? That's a no-no, a big no-no. So I wasn't really paying attention. I knew that, but I, for some reason, I was trying to do a, another type of repair. I mean, uh, just trying to show my students and really wasn't concentrating until I turned it. And I was like, well, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But I go, you know what, let me just try it anyways. And so and so forth, here was the results. I really gave it a good pull. And you're going to see what happened next. There you go. So in this video, you're going to see how I kind of get out of it. Now, obviously, you don't want to put, I'm going to give a big tip away. You don't want to put your feet across a curve, especially a light vehicle, uh, such as an import vehicle, which this was. So uh, lesson learned. I'll take it off. I'll kind of show you. Not that I, now I got a volcano dent and now I got two lows on each side. And it made life a little bit difficult here. So I spent probably two to three times more time trying to get this out. Now, it came out pretty good. I'd probably say about 95%, 90%. And uh, for the customer and for what it was, it, you couldn't tell. But in the lines, you can see every little dang flaw. So you will see that towards the end of the, end of the repair. But, um, but for the most part, it was a pretty good save. And um, it would have been a much better if I would have used the slide hammer and not used the mini lifter. So in this tutorial, you'll see all that. You'll see why. And uh, you'll get some good techniques on how to, uh, how to get out of this. So stay tuned, guys. Shouldn't have happened like that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we might as well just test out some creases. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's try these. See if I can save this here. I'm gonna get this all fixed up. Not gonna learn my lesson. I'm not gonna do the mini lifter right now.